Hey guys, I want to share with you in today's video all about really changing the story that you have around money that comes from your family. Oof, I know, I know. This is like, this is a big one and it's just like really popping to like share it with you. So first things first, if you are desiring to change anything in your financial reality at all, whether you're completely broke or whether you're not, but you're just looking to break through that invisible glass ceiling that you can't seem to break through to actually get to that next level of your own financial desires, then this is the video for you. Now I say that because um, family is such a big, big influence on us, even if we don't know it. So. Before I get into that, my name is Natalie Barrage. I'm a transformational facilitator, conscious entrepreneur, and I love empowering people uh, to change their money stories so they can actually have money with ease because two and a half years ago, um, I was right where a lot of you might be at, actually. I was totally uh, struggling. I felt lost. I felt hopeless. I felt scared. I really thought that possibly it couldn't change. And um, I was terrified to actually um, think that that maybe just um, it wasn't in my destiny to have money, which was a total lie, by the way. Um, so real quickly, everything happening currently in your financial reality is due to one thing, actually two things, beliefs and action, period. Now I say that because although that's very general, that kind of sets the framework for where we're going in today's video, which is about family. So I'm not really one to, um, you know, try to find all the reasons as to why something's occurring. I'm more, I'm more the gal you come to when you want something to change and if you're ready for it to change now. And that's what happens with a lot of the work that I do with my clients. And with that said, over the last few years, what I've really seen um, really create a lot of change for people is when they actually are willing to acknowledge how much that their upbringing, their childhood, their family um, really has impacted them with their financial reality, not because it can't change, not because they can't outcreate them, but a lot of times there are so many stories happening underneath the surface about what we saw growing up with money or the beliefs our parents have with money. And there's something called unconscious loyalties that I actually get into in my monthly membership group where we actually look at all of these unconscious ways that we have um, really limited ourselves in particularly with our family that essentially set us up to struggle with money. I know it's kind of it's kind of a doozy. So a lot of times this conversation isn't happening consciously, although for some of you you'll be like, oh no, it totally is. Like I'm so aware that I'm not willing to make more than my parents and here I am struggling. For some of you, if you're anything like me, this conversation actually might not totally resonate with you. When I first started looking at this um, a while ago, I was like, no, like I'm kind of good with, you know, with, with how I, you know, I'm different from my family and I don't really think that they, you know, have impacted me at all. And then when I actually started looking on, at things unconsciously, so underneath the surface, actually what's really going on and the energies in there, it really started exposing all of these strange beliefs that I didn't even know that I had about money and my family and me. And what it revealed was so, like pun intended, right on the money as far as what had actually been occurring in my reality. So what I wanna invite you guys into is looking at the following, which is what did you actually learn from your family about money growing up? And just like free writing on that, maybe for two, three minutes most, you know? You don't have to spend an hour doing this. You don't have to recall every memory, but just get a sense, a snapshot of actually like let's say a minute to three minutes of like, what did you see growing up with, um, with money? You know, who handled it in your household? Um, what type of conversation was, was had about it? And for most of you, they're probably like, there is no conversation, you know? Did you always see um, exhaustion? Did you always see uh, a lot of hard work? So there was exhaustion, you know, and that's what you had to do to get money. Did you um, have one parent that wouldn't look at it and, and put the responsibility of it in another parent's hand, you know? When you actually came into the age of where you could start working, let's say in your teens, you know, what was the attitude of your family um, with you in regards to money then? Just look at that. And that right there, my friends, will start to reveal most likely what is actually going on for you now. Somewhere, somehow, some of you will be an obvious yes, yeah. some of you might be like, oh, I can see that correlation. And so if you are ready to really just 
let go of all of this, no longer be at the effect of any of this, then I'm inviting you into this awesome webinar that I had for only a dollar, where we actually look at not only this, but what I'm calling unconscious loyalties, which are all the all the things underneath the surface that are actually running the show, um, like with family, like with friends, like with um, just our culture, with society, and different beliefs that we unknowingly have with money that are actually creating the limitations that we can't seem to get out of. And we actually dive into it in this webinar. It's only a buck. Um, and so I really want to invite you that if this video has hit home with you, to actually... Um, get that because it's going to really start to change the game for you and open up a whole different possibility that wasn't there before. So anyway, link is below. You can go ahead and grab it. And I cannot wait for you guys to really take a look at this because when you look at something and you acknowledge that it can change, it actually will start to change. And um, if you've been avoiding looking at money in regards to any of what I just mentioned here, you probably want to run, not walk to actually getting this webinar. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video.